Hi, let's talk about the blues. I will share some licks and some tips about uh, getting a good tone. I hope you can tag along and I'll try to keep it simple. So I start with the slow blues and the key of C. C7. Maybe I'll go to an F9. And back. You heard it a million times, it goes like this. So I use my uh, middle finger uh, on the D string and I go from the 8th fret to the 10th fret and back again. And it is really going to the 1 note or the root, back to the flat 7. And to add a harmony, I will include my ring finger on the B string in the same fret just the, below, here. That will play the six down to the five. Together in harmony, they will sound like this. In the groove or in the rhythm, it will go like this. So we come from the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, and uh, another thing that you can do to uh, spice it up a bit is to include this note on the way up, on on your way up here, and then I do it like this. And you just take it, uh, when you go down, you just remove it. And I don't use a pick, but you can of course do that. It's important that you dampen the G, the, the G string in the middle here. So what I do is um, the flesh from my uh, mid middle finger will dampen the, the G string so it doesn't ring out. If it rings out, it sounds like this. And you don't want that. So dampen the G string and try to do it with the flesh on the back side of your middle finger. That will sound like this. And if you had played with a pick it would be like... You can strum it and, and it won't ring out. And you can do it for all chords. Uh, go up to going to the... Um, F, four chord, or up here, and back again. The next thing I'd like to show you uh, and talk about is uh, vibrato. When the note, the last note of a phrase is about to die out, I help it with adding a bit of vibrato to, to make it breathe a bit longer. So that is, if I play something like... So just before the note uh, tends to die, I, I start the, my vibrato. It's of course an expression thing, so uh, if you wanted to come straight ahead, you do that. Your tone of voice, it's you, you decide where to use it, when to use it. Just be aware and um, try to notice when you do it and how you do it. For me, I like to do it at the end of a phrase. If I play something with including several notes, usually I will hold the last note and um, help that with some vibrato. So it will be like... Another... Uh, commonly used uh, phrase, if you like, in the blues, is going uh, to the seven. So, also with a harmonized uh, two notes. Uh. So this is really the th third note. 
And the one, and the one goes down to the seven, and the third goes down to the second note. Here it goes the same that you need to dampen the, the string in between with the flash of your um, middle finger. So if you use a pick and just strum it, shouldn't that uh, middle uh, string that shouldn't ring out. You can do vibrato also on two strings. Or you can uh, try to uh, vibrate the guitar. So how I do that is that I hold my hand to, to uh, make some resistance here, to push it towards me, and then I push the, the neck slightly. And with that, you make the tone uh, vibrate. And it's a good thing to, to learn these harmonies by ear. Just to rehearse the scale, you become familiar with these. The next uh, trick is uh, this one. So I go up to the five and the flat seven on the string below. That's the B string. So the, the G string is in, in the 12th fret and the B string is in the 11th fret. It sounds like this and I always slide up to it. I never go straight to it. I just slide. Sliding entrance. So C. And then this uh, comes. Five and a flat seven. Six and four. And that's the five and flat three. And the flat three, I push it up to a three since we are in the major key. The flat three doesn't go too well there, it's because it will sound better in the minor. We want that in the, in the major key. So sum that. And then the vibrato thing. And this one. And you just have to use your ear to where that uh, belongs in the, in the rhythm. Yeah, you saw that? I went up. So use it uh, in every chord, really, if you like. You can also take the whole, uh, this is a F9. You can also use the whole chord. And slide that. Commonly used. And uh, there's uh, one thing that I didn't mention that I think is very important. That is to, to be dynamic with your touch. Um, it's like speaking or uh, talking to someone, you're telling a story and you, you, sometimes you want to be quiet and talk low. And sometimes you need to raise your voice to make a point. And that's uh, the same with the music.
And when you play chords, it's not necessary to strum all the strings. That's uh, one thing to consider, to not play all the chords, it's just to play uh, a select few notes. So now I'm just playing the third and the flat seven. And if you like, you can add the, the, the bass note, the, the root. One. And for the nine, maybe adding the, 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 the bass note. So that's uh, a trick to, to vary where you play the notes. C could be played here, could be played like this, maybe add a sixth. And I'll play it down here to play the nine. But you don't need to include all the notes, maybe just uh, two or three. Okay, I hope that was fun. At least uh, have fun when you do this, when you rehearse and play. Find the good tone. And not to kill the tone with playing too hard or... If the intention is, of course, to shout, you, you play loud, but uh, you, you can play soft also. Uh, try to be expressive. Have fun. <laughs>